Hey guys, Jared from The Vinyl Corner, and today we are going to be unboxing and taking a look at this silver vinyl reissue of the Silent Hill 2 soundtrack done by Mondo. So it's no secret, I'm a nerd. Um, I love old video games especially. Uh, I used to collect old video games as I've said on this channel a hundred times. Before I did the vinyl thing, I was collecting old Nintendo, Super Nintendo. But yeah, it's always been something I've been super into and obviously Silent Hill 2 is one of those ubiquitous classics that pretty much anybody and everybody can enjoy. Uh, it really shattered conventions on what could be done not only just with storytelling but also horror and uh, like kind of deeper cohesive themes in video game storytelling specifically. So. The soundtrack is one of the biggest uh, draws of the game. It's one of the best pieces of dark ambient, just really uncomfortable industrial in sections. It's a masterpiece on all fronts and the soundtrack is no different. I've wanted this vinyl pressing for a while. Uh, I missed out on the original batch uh, done by Mondo, but I was really thankful to secure this silver vinyl reissue. So let's crack this thing open. Alrighty, so here it is, standard shipping LP. Uh, I know Mondo for a while was doing their own tape. I guess they uh, kind of stopped doing that to save a couple bucks, which I understand because who really gives a fuck at the end of the day. But that's obviously not why we're looking at this. We're looking at it for this beautiful shipping invoice. Of course, again, I'm just kidding. Haha. -ha. This is really why we're in here. Uh, this is the Silent Hill 2 soundtrack. Um, obviously there's not too much that can be said about this game at this point. Um, it's a pretty unanimous classic and one of those games that really changed a lot for many people uh, in terms of how they viewed video games and how they can be high art. This is obviously the Mondo uh, reissue here. This is the 2022 exclusive. So as always, it comes with a beautiful OB over here. Amazing, amazing cover. Absolutely great. I love all of the artwork. Um, and again, just, you know, some promo stuff over here. But yeah, again, we are not here to keep this thing sealed. We're here to see the beautiful gatefold and to listen to what's on the inside here. So let's get this thing out of here. Let's check out the gatefolds. This is really awesome. It's like just a really cool rendition of Pyramid Head walking by. And uh, checking out one of the records here. Uh, this is the silver vinyl edition over here, so got that going. Um, but yeah, this looks really, really good. Uh, I think these are 180 grams just from the weight of them. Uh, I know most Mondo pressings are 180 grams, so it wouldn't surprise me at all. This looks fantastic. I love it. Uh, it fits like the whole aesthetic with like the foggy, like silver look to it. Mondo usually does a killer job with their pressing, so I'm very, very stoked to see what's going on with the inside of this. So let's take a look. So yeah, the packaging was fantastic. Uh, Mondo, they are a bit on the more expensive side, but you know for that price, you're always going to get the quality uh, with stuff like this. And again, there's not too many other reissue labels doing stuff like this so the fact that we're getting such good quality unique art to the pressings and all that good stuff i think it's worth it really and again the pressings are super heavy they're always super thick and they always sound fantastic they're mixed and mastered very well and this one's no different it really lets all of the silence breathe but it also knows just when to congeal everything together and allow everything to kind of still have its own space so yeah you feel the sharpness of the industrial stuff you feel all of the rust on the floor you feel all of that looming death and spookiness this is a fantastic uh pressing i'm sure the originals are just as good i think these are sold out um but i'm sure mondo is going to reissue this again soon they keep selling out of these things like crazy gets my stamp of approval but i just wanted to talk a little bit about the soundtrack itself one of my biggest like minor things that i have to say about this is they actually credit um the soundtrack to uh, konami digital entertainment uh, which is fair enough um, because they licensed the music and they did all this stuff. They put Akira Yamaoka in the studio and all of that. But um, I feel like they should have put his name on here somewhere. Uh, if I was correct, I didn't see his name once and I, I double checked. And that's really a disservice to his genius. The fact that uh, he went this hard for a video game soundtrack in an era where uh, deeper compositions and really layered textural like musical pieces really weren't like thought of to be put in a video game because why just kind of one of those special things that really kind of changed the trajectory of 
an entire industry and I feel as such he deserves the credit that uh, so well deserves because he fucking made the soundtrack so but yeah this soundtrack as I just said was a complete game changer in all regards as was this game uh, horror games were never the same since soundtracks were taken a lot more seriously people kind of used it to elevate video games to a new level that they really hadn't been uh, necessarily before uh, to a more common level where stuff like Silent Hill and other game series where they were a bit more serious and topical were able to thrive in an environment and still be fun games and uh, stick with you for the rest of your life. So yeah guys, that was my unboxing of this new silver vinyl reissue of the Silent Hill 2 soundtrack. Let me know down below what you think about Silent 2 and its masterful soundtrack. And while you're down in the comments, hit that description, check out all those links, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out a video at the end of this one. Until next time guys, have a nice day.